Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Garcia. I'm one of the treating physicians here in the new facility. I think it's a great place we can, because we can combine uh, the two best aspects of conventional medicine and non-conventional medicine. Changing the diet, promoting uh, good supplementation, promoting circulation, we're going to improve in a way all the detoxification pathways. But we still have to help the body a little bit. And how can we do that? If we have proper hydration, we're going to most likely take those supplements or all the nutrients to our cells, have a better metabolism at the cellular level, and that will help us in a way to detoxify the body. Also, one of the machines that we have available, like the Body Vibe, that can help us to improve circulation, just by being on the Body Vibe and the mobility that creates, it will contract muscles. By having that muscle contraction, you're improving circulation in the blood system and the circulatory system. By doing that, you will eliminate a lot of the toxins in your system. One of the other machines could be, or the other treatments could be the infrared sauna. By exposing the body to heat, we will dilate the blood vessels. That blood vessel dilation will also help us to improve circulation and elimination of toxicity. The sonodynamic therapy can help us by um, the, um, the ray of the light to decrease inflammation, which is also very important uh, to be used in patients that have cancer because it will help us to decrease that chronic inflammatory disease. Also, some of the intravenous treatments that we have, like a hydrogen peroxide, a chelation, the hydrogen peroxide can help us to increase the concentration of oxygen in the body. The chelation can help us in a way to decrease uh, possibly cholesterol plaques that are in, in some of the blood vessels will help us also to boost the immune system and to promote a healthy central nervous system, which is very important. Another treatment that we can offer is the hy local hyperthermia. Um, it, it's a very important treatment. We usually use that um, to increase circulation in certain tissues and also, and it will help us to bring down inflammation. It's also recommended for patients that have cancer because cancer cells are very susceptible to uh, the increase of temperature. So when you're exposing a patient to the local hyperthermia, you're damaging those cancer cells. They usually cannot ha adapt to changes on the um, environment. So that's why it is very important to have the hyperthermia on patients with cancer. Usually healthy cells have the capability of adapting better to changes in temperature and many other changes in the external fluid, so that's why they don't suffer uh, a lot. Another treatment that we can offer is the IPT, the insulin potentiation therapy, and that's very important because when we have a cell, usually the cell inside the plasma, it has receptors for glucose. So usually those receptors are inside the cell, but when we promote a decrease of the glucose in the body of a patient by using insulin, those receptors inside the cell will go to the surface and they're gonna be exposed. So the, that any molecule of glucose that is passing by close to the cell can be trapped and used by the cell. So when we create hypoglycemia and we combine the laetriol, the B17, with certain amount of glucose and then we inject it directly to the patient, the laetriol is attached to the molecule of glucose. So when the glucose passes by through the cell, and those receptors are exposed, the glucose with the laetrile is gonna be binded to those, that receptor and it will penetrate very easily into the cell and create damage. That's why it is very important.